Yo, what's up, what's up, guys? Welcome again to Itam Diaries, Manze. And as usual, I'm your host, JB. And uh, tumekuwa tumeenda break kiasi, but we are back. And we have some new things. Leo, Manze, eh, tumerudi kwa show. This is our 19th episode. Na pia, na azasema, thank you to all when you meza kutulia. Umetungo jadi, tuka rudi kwenye show. And today, Manze, nikona my co-host hapa hivi. Atakuwa kiji introduce. Karibu sana, bro. Yeah 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 mm. mwaze ni aje fit sana unaweza ji introduce kwa camera yako hapa <laughs> oh this is my camera yeah so uh, hi guys my name is Theo mm-hmm. kwa wale wanijui yeah i go by Theo yeah kila mahali so Theo 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 is a uh, is my co-host today guys vile mnacheki amedunga look hapo <laughs> nje venye kwa huku nje ld yani acha tu this is august but baridi yenye iko it's like yeah. tuko july <laughs> na cheki amedunga hapo wool yake si mchezo Inabidi, so uh, unaweza tuambia kwanza hapa hivi itown diaries vile tumekaa hivi as a co-host uh-huh. uo unafanya nini so uh, guys i'm um, basically Okay, huyu mdosi wangu <laughs> ameniongeza yeah. kwa, 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 kwa kwenye show. Mm-hmm. So I'll be taking you through a segment inaitwa Jenga Biz. Yeah. Jenga Biz is just uh ni whereby we get to know about uh, businesses mm-hmm. yenye watu wanafanya hii Eldoret. True. Eh, kuna kitu nimefanya na mse fulani mm-hmm. anajita master we shall talk about it later yeah. but uh, each and every time mse takwa nafanya segment yangu hapa itakuwa ni host different kind of people with different kind of businesses, businesses. kabisa yeah. guys mnasikia that is Theo uh, tunafanya tuko na another segment tumeleta na kwambia this time tumerudi na tumerudi na ubaya <laughs> tuko na segment inaitwa Jenga Biz yeah. tuko na segment uh, sitawaambia but tuendelee so uh, tumekuwa na so much things yenye na trend ndi <laughs> na trend Kenya Bana, LD, tumekuwa na, na vitu mingi si ndio ah. Ebu tuongelee kwanza about the events in Eldoret. Nimecheki of hey. late tumekuwa na events mingi. Bro, wewe umejua gani of late yenye hey, happen lately? Be, before hata hapo hivi. Mm. Eh hey, ndio mzee tuna tunasonga mzee big Sindio. up to the organizers of events here mm-hmm. Eldoret. Mm-hmm. Uh, before hata before tuongelee hizi koki tumekuwa na Kitenge Festival. Mm-hmm. Tu, uh, jana tumekuwa na Genge Fest. Kitenge Festival ili happen on uh, It's like it? two weeks ago. Yeah, two Sindio. weeks ago. Ilikuwa 20, 20 what? Is it 28th or 21st? Something yeah. like that. Sindio. But anyway, it was, a, it was a very great event. Nilikuwa yeah. huko hivi. Mm-hmm. Na event ilikuwa ilikuwa na wasani. Mm-hmm. Kitenge Fest by the way is just basically an event whereby it's all about fashion. Mm-hmm. Ilikuwa na awards. Yeah. yeah. Na yeah. nilicheki liweza kush... Like so far so good kwangu mimi niliona that was the biggest event in Ilieza happen LD ndio ilikuwa kubwa wewe ulikuwa attend you represented us ulienda ukacheki vile ilikuwa yeah. ilikuwa ilikuwa how big lezea tu wasenyi wako waweza kupata hiyo opportunity ya kuenda Tenge Fest ilikuwa kubwa yeah. tulikuwa na ma artist by the way yeah. wengi kina Uwaga Nyiro yeah. kina Willy Paul alikuwa pale hivi kabisa eh Mlamua pia ali come through mm-hmm. eh, not forgetting our artists kutoka LD, kutoka LD. plan B alikuwa mm-hmm. uh, sovereign walikuwa pale hivi mm-hmm. kenaz sovereign band ya yeah. uh-huh. Wase so wengi walikuwa sana wase walikuwa na sema wote wewe kwa kuna unachekije about hiyo story ya organizing such events in LD Z. Yaani tusikai tusilalishe. Ah. Unajua kutoka kitambo wase walikuwa na juanga <laughs> hiko tu. Yaani tumelalisha tu wewe unaona aje. Mimi sioni kai LD imelalisha. Eh. Mimi kitu wenye naona okay challenge imekuwa corona. Si unajua covid ilikuwa mm-hmm. imekuwa By part of this nini lakini sahi mm-hmm. bro. Mm-hmm. Ah events events za LD mimi naona zimekuwa zimecome through fit to, uh, to, 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 to the next level. Uh-huh. Yeah. Sasa so, hiyo ni fit by the alafu about the awards enyo aliweza kupeana during that event by oh, the eh, by the kulikuwa na awards mm-hmm. some of the awards ilikuwa photographer of the year mm-hmm. tulikuwa na dj of the year photographer of the year uh, kim ndo alichukua photo, oh. photographer of the year uh-huh. eh, tulikuwa na dj of the year uh-huh. dj of the year ilikuwa dj, DJ m ndio kabisa big up to big dj, up to DJ m, m, m kabisa eh, mm-hmm. pia tulikuwa na <coughs> kulikuwa na best nini artist of the year best artist of the year Sindio. sovereign band sovereign band wali come through but they kuna kuna eh, like There's something they have done tuneke, but kuna kitu uh, tunaongelea mwisho mwisho ya show sindio ah, sovereign mazee <laughs> they wanna come fit sana by the way hiyo tutaiongelea pia nilisikia kulikuwa na about uh, the best blog of the year 
a lady alichukua sijeshika jina yake yeah. best blog of the year in a lot someone someone that uh, our guy mwenye tulifanya segment ya jenga biz amemvalisha uh-huh. yeah yende alikuwa the best yeah, blog, yeah, of, yeah, the, yeah, blog yeah, of the yeah, blog of the year yeah. by the guys mm-hmm. alafu uh, by the kama ukuweza kuenda that event uh, the kitenge fest event you can just go to youtube najua se wengi sana wameza ku post but a, a friend of mine anajita sido Yeah. Sydney na to Urban Media, Urban Media. pale YouTube. Yeah. Just go to Urban Media YouTube, watch Check all about Kitenge Fest maze. Vile yeah. ilikam through ilikuwa Ili fit sana, si ndio? So, eh, watu wanajua kupiga look. Kabisa. Kitenge uh, uh, was all Kitenge. Yaani ilikuwa mm. look kila kitu <laughs> ndio maana bana mimi hapo ndijeka nje kiasi. Unajua <laughs> 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 bila vitenge <laughs> unacheki, unacheki hata hii by yeah. then imejikaza. Eh? Unacheki ndio inaka inaka Kitenge sama u. But sikuangi mzee wa hiyo hiyo nini hata unanielewa jaribu but anyway ati <laughs> la jaribu liza alafu kukakuwa na another event ili happen recently kukakuwa na another event jana pia mm-hmm. ilifanyika pale at the lobo village yeah yeah that's a new place na mm-hmm. inakuja na ina come fit sana si ndio yeah so most of the events zimekuwa huko jana mm-hmm. tulikuwa na genge fest yeah yeah mhm uh-huh. Genge Fest uh, tulikuwa na major uh-huh. ndani ya nyumba kabisa okuo okuo ndani ya nyumba uh-huh. our own artist wenyewe uh-huh. alikuwa pale uh-huh. eh, Kenaj Kenaj Music yeah old uh-huh. old old gospel artist uh, mamwa hii Eldoret shika mbaya sana pia na yeye eh, ataki mchezo <laughs> ataki mchezo uh-huh. eh, tulikuwa pale na eh, kulikuwa na Odi wa Bondo Odi wa Bondo alikuwa Sinio. ndani ya building uh-huh. Eh, tulikuwa na the, the 40 ama clan B walikam hawakukoa ah, okay, 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 X-ray nilichekea ni kwa guest si ndio na kumekuwa na artist wengi uh-huh. bro main main main, main main DJ main DJ okay tulikuwa na DJ Vortex uh-huh. DJ MP alikuwa pale uh-huh. um, yeah ma DJ mababe yani e town kwanza DJ Vortex DJ M <laughs> manze big up sana big kwa nyie wase na najua ilikuwa show fit sana ilikuwa show fit wase walieza come through yeah, fit kina Kento kina MC Nick uh-huh. wase walija by the way kulikuwa na mvua mvua ilinyesha this is august manze yani imetufanya ile amua. kitu yeah. watu wa maamua <laughs> event yezu wa pita. Yezu yenda through bila uh, bila wao kukua. But they, w- watu wa LD mm-hmm. <coughs> they are very supportive. Mm-hmm. Unaweza imagine venye wewe ilikuwa lakini watu wenye walikuwa pale. Walikuwa uh, wengi. Uh, <laughs> the same thing to Kitenge Fest nilisikia that mvua ilinyesha but still yani show ilinyesha. Yani watu show ilinyesha. Watu ilinyesha. Watu wali show up. Uh-huh. Actually ilinyesha mara ya kwanza uh-huh. wase waka tuka, watu tuka, watu wakadhani watu watapotea kidogo lakini wapi? Yeah. Kwanza mvua. unajua hii ilikuwa month ya mvua sasa achana na August. Unajua ah. August si month. Unajua mvua sijui ni kama inatuonea. Ai, <laughs> ni kama wewe inatupimia, si ndio? Unakaa hivi wiki moja hivi imepita haijanyesha. Siku ya event ndio hiyo. Inatuanga bwana. Inatuanga vibaya sana. Ah. Walikuwa wanasema sasa hii wanaume wale wanasema bana baridi natumiza. <laughs> ni mahand break tu. Nacheki, <laughs> mahand break tu za hapa. <laughs> ati baridi vetfanya ile kitu anyway ni sawa tu wanaume itabidi mme itabidi itabidi mmecheza kaa nyinyi kahawa isaidii sana sana labda uji eh labda uji eh alafu hii vitu zingine acheki anyway apart from mambo la mvua na the event me happen by the Uh, big thanks to all the guys corporates and you wanna mm-hmm. uh, when you wanna organize these my events up LD by the inasaidia sana si ndio yeah. ina inasaidia sana pia kuna kuna my events mingi bado zinakaa kuna bado kuna events zingine zinakaa si ndio and rap culture uh-huh. eh kata sio i think max ivan max ivan yeah mzee that guy is really doing i think at end ndio amekuwa ki organize these most of the zote. events ndio yeah uh-huh. uh, Mzee ni ni kitungo ni kitu ni kitu kubwa, kubwa sio yeah, ndio pia mpaka siku hizi na check LD manze tukombaka na dog fest manze dog festival oh yeah. happening today dog festival ilikuwa ina happen leo dog festival inafanyika leo sio hata karibu ni saa waje hiyo it's happening mm. on sunday manze tarehe 8 leo yani na, na inanyesha ukumbuke pia ukumbuke mvua inanyesha it's afternoon sure, but mvua sio venye kutakuwa huko ah. sasa hivi dogizi iko kiwanjani <laughs> ni mbio tu uh, by the about uh, dog fest <laughs> unajua this something that sijaona mimi sijaona something 
the one who is a dog festival wana shanga ah, i've never seen anything like that ini vitu gani aj happened but ina manisha kutakuwa na kulikuwa na the first mm-hmm. so i think kwa wale wase wajayo na of which jai sikia kitu kama hiyo labda eldoret si ndio the first guys ku host kitu Kui kama hiyo yeah uh-huh. So, so sijio na bia unajua ningekuwa ni mona IG pale Twitter vitu oh, kaizo zina zina trend trend yani eh madogo zina kwa celebrate ah manze watu wanatunga umbo yani manze wacha kiumbo hiyo na hinda umbo ha mtu anauza umbo wa 50000 yeah hmm? Hmm. 60000 watu wanajua ku invest bro ule mse mwenye yani dogi kukufa na anafanyia funeral lingine manze unashangaa bwana abifitting funeral <laughs> Unaenda kwa funeral ya dogi unashanga. Eh, Ata unaona hivyo. By the way guys, your event ingine, yeah. It's very enjoyable. Mse unaenda pale tu. Uone different types za dogi. Mm. Usiku, like you usiku jenaiza hako za mtani. Ngoja mimi kitumika kuanzia watu huko nje. Tupeni ma, majina ma dogi bwana eh. Manze. Tupeni dogi jina osha umbo bwana. Treat umbo vizuri. <laughs> ilisha yeah. ilisha chakula ya sopa. Siweke tu ka ka security tunajua kila mtu ameweka dogi ka security wase wase wana na dogi ni ka kitu kingine ya yani uh, yeah, kazi yake okay. ni kuja so, ichunge bomba hadi msa afukuze dogi by the way dogi ko intelligent but uh, ushaisikia a fact that a pig mm-hmm. iq yake yani the a pig's iq <laughs> iko rated like a pig is rated number 5 bro kwa ma, kwa, kwa wanyama wote bro Iko na IQ ingine kali sana bro. <laughs> Number 5. Ngurue shwali. Manze, <laughs> mimi nilifanya nilifanya hiyo research hadi nikashtuka. At pig is rated number 5 guys. Kwa IQ yake is yani iko na Iko hivyo. Uh, IQ yake si mchezo. Na you can imagine vile ngurue inakuwa. Eh, you imagine wewe ufuge ngurue. <laughs> Manze, mimi naweza fuga cause nakula nakula nyama yake. <laughs> na pia inasaidia, inasaidia. Watu wanajua anga nguruwe ni mchafu. That's the problem the people. Yeah, 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 But nyama yake ni tamu. Mimi naweza waambia. Inaangalia nyama. Eh, mimi naangalia ke, naangalia product manze. <laughs> na hiyo vitu lazima zikule, hawezi acha. Kwanza zinakula any time. Oh. Anyway, mm-hmm. it's still about uh, dog fest. Eh, uh, wewe Is it, a, is it a high time wase waanze kufunga madogi za zile za kaa kwa nyumba si machi wawa si madogi tu bro yeah. 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 No, no, pets pets mm. unajua wase wana uko na different uh, passion wako wako passionate about uh, different types of pets kuna wale wa kuchunga mapusi mm-hmm. yani mapaka yeah. kuna wale wa kuchunga madogi integemea ni pet gani wewe unata unapenda si ndio wasungura Maze find something. Usishi tu lonely kibachela hata kwa ni bachela bana. Ama uko single. Maze ka uko single. Hata ukifika unakumbuka unapikia. Unapikia kachakula kaka yake. Pale. Maze. Unajua mm. wengi wanaona ngati hiyo ni uzungu. Ah. Wapi? Eh? Tuko pass uh, that. Unaona personally, uh, mimi nitasema personally <laughs> kufuga <laughs> kitu kama naweza naweza kufuga dogi but ndaifungia nje. Siwezi <laughs> Siwezi <laughs> <laughs> kwa nyumba. Kwanza kitu ya kwanza yani hiyo squeeze tuko na mapero understanding. Yeah. Wale yeah. kitambo wapate dogi ndani ya nyumba, nyumba tangalia. Ni kelele. Eh. Hii ni kitu gani? <laughs> <laughs> but sasa ulache ki manze wase wako na hiyo mentality ya that mse kufuga eh, inatoa a pet na kuweka kwa nyumba yes, ati inakaa kitu inakaa uzunguzu na cheki na. mtu hezi fanya ati anaosha dogi anaosha paka <laughs> anyway uh, <laughs> to another story so by the way uh, something has been trending uh, in Kenya in the world by the not just in Kenya mm-hmm. uh, from the l- end of last month and the beginning of this month imekuwa about uh, the Olympics, World Olympics yeah, Tokyo Olympics yeah. 2020 mm-hmm. ndio na uke, umecheki Kenya pia tumekuwa tuki trend sana so Kenyans much as maze, happen, ni, ndio na kuambia sisi wa Kenya eh? sisi watu hivi hivi si hivi yeah. si ndio especially hiyo part ya Olympics, Olympics athletics ni nini ni. eh Mm. Unacheki kwanza athletics kuna ma gold kwa medal kuna bronze ndio yeah. but pia fans wamekuwa kilalamika that eh, Kenya this time waje perform <laughs> poor cuz unajua 2019 Rio Olymp- eh, Rio eh, nini Olympics uh-huh. tuliperform poor tulikuwa na about 6 goals uh-huh. but this time tumpata 4 goals so far unaona uh-huh. so fans waje kuwa satisfied waje kuwa satisfied kwa, car before ka... but pia ujue corona ili to hit unacheki hiyo ndio ni kwanza kusema is it because of corona ama... lazima si ndio cuz unajua hiyo time wasewa kuwa naenda training 
na cheki yeah. but the people nyo wameza kufanya Kenya wakwe proud sana ni eh, the likes of Eliud Kipchoge, Kipchoge mwenyewe yeah. the African machine by the this I she he, he, is limited yeah. Sai is ranked number one in Africa and uh, number 19, 19 in the world. The world Sindio. Hiyo anafanya kazi poa. I love pia tukakuwa na Faith is this lady. Uh, faith uh, Faith uh, is it Jeb Kosge or Faith who? Uh, someone something Jeb like Kosge, that. The, the 1500 meter uh, nini rana. Pia alishinda ka gold, yeah, sio? Alishinda gold. She's the, the, she's the same lady mwenye yeah. alifanya anga 2019 but akashindwa. Yeah. Ama si huyo. Yeah, alikuwa alikuwa na issues issues about maternity leave. Alikuwa yeah, alikuwa mzazi, she gave birth kidogo. to a beautiful girl yeah. na kakam kurudi nini ikakuwa ngumu kuwin. But she came back and she did as Yanda well. She did Kenya proud video. So that has been uh, been trending this uh, all of these months. This month, na yeah. pia under 20 by the under 20 World Olympics Kenya are proud hosts wa under 20 eh, Olympic Games yeah. it happen Kenya from uh-huh. 17th of this month yeah. so Kenya by the way tume, yani check, tuko mahali kwa hiyo ni una check in sport wise another thing uh, apart from sports mm-hmm. kumekuwa na talks mingi about the gospel industry in Kenya <laughs> na check <laughs> na najua hii kitu itakujit lakini nilikwambia beginning of the show leo lazima nilikwambia beginning of the show lazima tu tuongele mm-hmm. i think is a good thing me yeah, to the raise gospel, the gospel industry kwanza you being a, a gospel, gospel musician artist, yeah wona cheki je gospel industry really may <clears> change man <throat> like so much is happening in here people fans are not expecting bro unajua mm-hmm. tukiingia kwa gospel uh, industry mm-hmm. okay kitu kitu yenye najua unaongelea sana ni the musical part of the gospel industry uh, kind of yes the musical part na but <laughs> unajua ndio musical part change uh-huh. the person himself or herself lazima kwa me change una check okay bro yeah. kitu kitu moja yenye mi uona about the gospel industry ama industry yenyewe uh-huh. unajua most of the people wako kwa industry for money uh-huh. bro uh, i expect him say like uh, anaimba mm-hmm. na there is nothing in return I, I, I so unaangalia unaangalia una that pa, pa, perspective mm-hmm. whereby uh, mse anataka kutoa product mm-hmm. yenye inaweza kuwa marketable mm-hmm. na at least anaweza gain something from it yeah, yeah. so, so uh, uh, kitu yenye inaweza sema about the reason as to why me no na gospel industry inashuka mm-hmm. njua watu wanataka do watu wanaingia kwa gospel industry mm-hmm. sahi juu ya do sababu ya pesa eh, so like unaona wasio wana wanajaribu wanajari tu all means uh-huh. wa trend ndio dapate do eh sasa hii uh-huh. hauwezi pata show si rahisi unaona uh-huh. ni ngumu hata uh-huh. ukiangalia the gospel industry yenyewe uh-huh. watu wana tamak uh-huh. wasio wana kuelewa that the gospel industry uh-huh. is not about uh, ku trend tu peke yake uh-huh. wasio wana kuendelewa the gospel industry is a, it's a ministry uh-huh ni ministry ya god mm. hiyo ndio kitu watu wamesahau so wamesahau si ndio hiyo ndio kitu watu wamesahau mm-hmm. wame get so much into uh, a lot of things yenye wanataka want they want just to make money yeah. au wanaangalia the only way za haraka haraka money yeah. Yeah. ukiangalia watu kaa kina daddy owen mm-hmm. uangalie watu kaa kina moja shot baba uh-huh. ya yeah. okay au wako well off yeah na no, mystic kwa industry, industry yenyewe. Unaona au wanaelewa industry because uh-huh. au hawataki pop cash. Uh-huh. Unaona? Yeah. Au hawataki okay hawana mbio sana na the, the what the, 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 the money, material yeah, the material the, gains because uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. hiyo ni kitu yenye at least wanaweza. Yeah. In one way or the other kuna wako na some 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 businesses la cha niseme yenye mm-hmm. inaweza waletea so do. au mystic kwa god yeah. but sasa sasa hii unaona there are so many artists mm-hmm. wanaingia yeah, and they are all what wana wana try yeah. na unajua hii kitu mimi personally mimi na feel like unajua being a gospel in, uh, musician mm-hmm. first thing umesema this a ministry na being a gospel musician you are like we ni mtumishi wa Mungu ndio hiyo unacheki you need kitu. to spread yani word ya Mungu unajua unajua kitu moja anaweza sema bro ni mm-hmm. wase ni kama hawajaget mm-hmm. hawajelewa sana nini 
church like mm. watu waje kwa close watu waje kwa close na waje leo cuz mtu angekuwa mm. anaelewa story na church vizuri mm-hmm. au angekuwa anafanya vitu na anafanya hizo vitu yeah. yeah unasikia gospel okay ma gospel artist eh, wanatoka wanahama from huku hivi wanaenda huko nini yeah. nawapeleka huko pesa ni do kama kawaida so mm-hmm. Mtu ba, I'm sure, uh, one thing as a seaman uh, the gospel industry mm-hmm. watu wengi hawajui mali wako mm-hmm. most of the guys do the industry not as a not uh, do the gospel not as a ministry but, but for material gain business yeah okay ndio issue eh. yeah anyway you that yani your topic unajua inaweza ni big sana <laughs> it's something okay, we can talk kubwa. about tutai yani tunaweza iongelea kwa muda sana mm. na itakuwa fit by the tukiweza fanya coverage about uh, Eldoret gospel industry na vile mi huwa na cheki unajua mi am that guy mwenye ndaona leo Theo mm-hmm. yes is a gospel musician Artist, yeah. but kuna kitu wenye mimi na cheki afanye fiti mm. but i'm not that guy mwenye wakusema sasa vile ni moona nitakuja nkwambie ama niambie wase au mse afanyange poa na cheki hivyo hivyo na cheki okay unajua by the way wana issue nyingine ni mm. wase wanaogopa kwa approach yana mm-hmm. utaona mse akifanya mistake then you keep quiet unajua keep quiet uh-huh. muaddress mwambie iko hivi na hivi na hivi yeah. unajua uh-huh. wasemanga kitu wenye una address mm-hmm. mtu akataye kufanya hiyo ndio mbaya yeah. lakini sasa you see a mistake unajua watu wengi sasa siku hizi wanafanya something hmm. but they are siwezi sema they are blinded ama wenyewe okay wanafanya willingly mm-hmm. but they don't know that they are doing the wrong thing yeah. so inafaa ukiona mtu akifanya kitu yenye hi-fi hmm. at least more approach mm-hmm. muambie explain na muambie this is the way to go yeah. unaona hmm. sisi tuna unaenda tena unajua kitu inauanga tena ni unaenda unaambia mtu umefanya kitu vibaya mm-hmm wewe unataka afanya aje nitakana ukimwambia unampea na options ndio unampea at least una 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 mbia hivi na mwambia okay mm. umefanya hapa hivi vibaya but ungefanya hivi ingekuwa fit ingekapoa yeah. anyway ni sawa that that topic as i've said ni it's a very huge a topic, topic yenye tukisema tuanze saa hii hatutamaliza <laughs> but generally bro. what uh, by the guys if you're watching this show miki nyenye zambia any gospel musician pale mwenye ana watch hii Yeah. Nini? Is time unaenda kufanya gospel ama you are thinking of starting doing gospel music. Are you sure that is what unataka kufanya kwanza? Is it a calling yenye Mungu amekupea? Si ndio. Lazima ikuwe kitu, kitu yenye Mungu amekupea, unacheki. Yeah. Isikuwe kitu tu unafanya kwa sababu mtu mwingine anafanya juu. Exactly. Tio anafanya. Acha hata mimi nimbe gospel, naona inampea. No. Kila mtu you do what unajua kama ni gospel kama Mungu amekuitia ama kama ni talent na unajua it's something you'll stick on it utafanya tu unajua it's good when someone ana change from secular to, to gospel. gospel tunajua Mazeti this guy or this lady has been saved bona so, ndio yeah. amekuwa born again <laughs> lakini utoke <laughs> yeah. gospel wanguke secular yani Kenyans <laughs> or eh, mwanadamu wa kawaida tu atasema bwana mse ai manze si fit mm. but anyway That's a topic yenye tuwezi maliza saa hii yeah. na today pia tuko na segment inaitwa top 2 best songs yenye tumeza kui tumeza kui nini kuipitia tulikuwa tumesema tulikuwa tumeongelea sovereign yeah. na i think this the part tulikuwa tuna tunasema tutaiongelea mzee those guys are moving yeah by the guys sovereign band is a group so you say hapa yeah. from ld yeah wanafanya uh, fiti oh, sana and group done. of three guys three guys sai walikuwa four but i think some one of them yeah, dropped moja aka, sai yako wako three si ndio yeah. uh, sovereign band wamefanya latest song featuring david wanda david wanda mwenye one of the best gospel artists in kenya mm. wamefanya song inajiita senda senda nakimbia pale youtube tu kali sana yeah. <laughs> uh, na nilicheki pia in the morning walikuwa somewhere wakifanya some media tours niliona yeah, there ni wako kwa media tour wako mingi sana niliona their list but them inge kwa ig ig page yao pale hivi you see mm-hmm. uh, what they are up to yeah because they go by sovereign band i think yeah, yeah. and uh, the next uh, number two song mm-hmm. inaitwa my jaber najua se wengi sana wameisikia <laughs> ingoma wamefanya tiktok challenge pale <laughs> kwenye <laughs> tiktok na sijaona wewe ukifanya bwana ah Hatunyamazi. Acha 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 ipite. 
<laughs> but anyway my jaber is a song sung by another band hey yeah. it's a coincidence mm. Minaka... two bands at a go sovereign band alafu had the band wameimba my jaber kali sana yani ngo mwingine kali sana still tuyona trending. street still trending uh, number one on youtube yeah. sai eh uh, ukienda pale youtube tu one the trending songs on youtube My video God. kali bana imehusisha waseka kina bazu willis mm-hmm. raburu mwenyewe mm-hmm. kuna beti kialo ndani niliona nani mwingine like imehusisha some big celebs in kenya mm-hmm. it's a very good video manze it's a vibe ngoma ingine ya mapenzi tamu unajua had the band story ya mapenzi ni yao na cheki hawezi <laughs> <laughs> washinda hakuna mwenye anawatoa so that is number two to us yeah. and uh, i think that's a close for us today Uh, maybe tio akutumalizia malizia yeah, tu yeah, yeah. so mzee before tufunge hii segment this week as i told you uh, i've been your host and kwa nimekuwa nikifanya a show inaitwa jenga jenga biz jenga biz yeah. so nilikuwa nime move kidogo hivi nikakutana nikaenda nikapata msee mwenye anajita master yeah masterpiece so pondo mm-hmm. so uh, this is what we had and this this was our talk hapo hivi na masterpiece na he's a ah sitaki kuambia acha tuchapie bro nyaje pia ni coffee tu nimekutembelea leo karibu sana mzee na furahia ah shukran mzee mzee for those who don't know me a real name ni Paul Juma for the master and your street name na mimi ndio founder of masterpiece designs so uh opondo juma uh, masterpiece uh, Uh, eh baadhi mimi nakuja nakutambua ka Opondo uh, ama anasema anga MPD uh, MPD ama master, master masterpiece na deal na nini uh, masterpiece designs ni fashion house mm-hmm. uh, tuna deal na mtumba um, clothing uh-huh. mostly tuna dress people of course normal clients uh-huh. alafu pia tukana hiyo special chuguli tunafanya ku dress models uh-huh. for shoes and for events oh yeah so you, you, you deal with the uh, dress what what uh, wapige luku kwenye watu wapige luku 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 na fai kwa staff ah haina mambo manze so manze umesema una dress uh, una dress what uh, uh, unatuambia agenda gani una dress my boy uh, my girl uh, ama what okay actually na dress both gender uh-huh. but ladies ndio nime focus sana kiasi jo dress yangu mosi kwa ladies uh, dona improve pole pole on, on on men pia ah lazima pia ujeni sana ndio mshughulikie oh ni kupata the product sasa bro eh uliko unafikiria nini mpaka ukamwa kuingia kwa hii industry ya ku dress watu Uh, okay for me nimekuwa niki nimekuwa kwa industry ya biz for a while mm-hmm. nime work na wasemi okay nimekuwa kwa biz since nikuwa nikuwa young eh. nimekuwa ni kuuza manguo pale street pale so yako ilianza kwa street ilianza kwa street pale ukachuka ka hapa hivi ukasema unajua watu by the way wanajuanga unashika duka eh. then like una establish kila uh, kitu ah uh, lazima kukuwa na certain point nze hebu tuchapie venye ulianza bro uh, so for me personally after school nilikuwa na tembeza nguo chuo mm-hmm. na nikiuza kwa ra mostly nilikuwa natembeza kwa colleagues wangu mm-hmm. ama students eh. na the rest ndio na uzia pale task za routine kwa streets ni tora ora ELD tu maana tu ELD tu moja sasa uliko uliko wale wa sauti ya juu sauti ya juu wale tunawaita hapo tukianza kuwaita manzee mwakuja wote inafaa mbaya eh iko iko fit so from there ndio ndio nikanini nimeenda from there ndio nika pick nika pick from the street uh-huh. kuza kwa bag uh-huh. then nika decide site yenye nimefikia then nita place my shoes then nika shika shop na nika za kuzina my shop and here we are eh mzee hapa tuko tuna furaha sana na bado unasonga tunasonga pole pole so hii business kupelekaje 
Bisi mbaya sasa hii challenges kiasi kiasi madeo na jeni wa covid jo kwanza after corona hebu nitaka kusikia part ya covid bro covid jo ile come jo ile to hit hard kwanza venye market ilifungwa ili tupata tuko ready hatuko tume stock and stuff so to look out of out of game for a while na lewa ju market ikifungwa ni hivyo tuwezi kupata product movements pia ilikuwa ngumu kwenda jiji but but tulivumili tu unatoa wapi nini stock yako so mostly na sold from west up west market yetu oh hii hapa moja tunaenda yes. unatafuta then unaleta kuna kuna kunyaka na kuna kufungua mzigo oh so eh, eh, baja kunyaka <laughs> kunyaka ni ile like uko market uh-huh. na unaenda kutafuta nguo moja moja oh, so una so ni kupiga round in market nzima ah. eh wewe unachukua top ndio unachukua shirt ndio unachukua kisho ndio oh. hivyo hadi party chini unadai ah so ni mazee ushasikia mm. ushasikia hapo you just look for uh, what what you want eh mm. ni unaweza yeah. kuja ku, ku, ku describe yeah, ni yeah. ku, ku describe chenye yeah, unataka yeah, yeah. kama kuna tutakutafutia yeah. tutafutia eh, alafu by the way umesema una dress ma model yeah. ume dress ma model ka kina nani na nani ah uh, for the re- reason pass ni kwa ni dress ni dress hii da kumu aha uh-huh. ni dress uh, ni dress ya mrembo msaudi na yake. Uh-huh. Mume alishinda blog of the year, blog of the year yeah. Kitenge, Kitenge festival. Uh, by the way, uh, by the way you guys should go and check out uh, how how Benye Kitenge ile yeah, ndio mzee. Yeah. Yeah, umse lean. umse ni mtu mwingine mkubwa sana. Yeah. Deba ko Deba Deba ko in kenya and dress. Uh-huh. Me dress two models kadhaa ukidai kidai kucheki content yangu uh-huh. na cheki pale ID. Eh. Mimi ndo nimekuwa designer kwa content ya Mitam Trade. Uh-huh. Bado tunaijua. Yeah 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 yeah. So far tumefanya edition tatu uh-huh. na imekuwa successful mbaya. Hiyo yeah, ni fit bro. Uh-huh. So uh, guys uh, this is what masterpiece has done. Uh-huh. Acha tuiangalie. sema nini about it uh, mazee ni initiative fit sana mm-hmm. uh, mazee imekuwa ishungori kwa street kwa society recently kwanza ite menye ma studio wamekuwa home sorry na covid wamekuwa na cases kibao so ni initiative fit na support wase wana ipush wandele kuipush na society pia if i come together i support your program no na mazee at least wase waze ku, ku educate wase kuna wase wengi ajui about hizi bit wase wako maocha wako 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 mageto mm-hmm. wanakuwa tu msiana kubampia na kuanataka kufanya vile anadai unaona mm-hmm. so hawajui about that hawajui kinywa anapenda kuripoti simkai hizo unaona 
So ni poa wenye na hold your program of push information wende wambi wa save wenye na zataidika na ongeleshe pia wenye apo affect na the story. Eh. Unse ni mwai sana. Ni abaze vitu wai sana. So tukimalizia show yetu nitaka utupe handle zako, nitaka upe vijana advice pale hivi. Alafu toka tumeshukuru mzee. Ah wazi mzee. So advice yangu kwa maboys mzee na natumeingia tuko wengi. Afurahi hivyo actually mzee ju. Unajua sasa hii vitu ni hard. Uh, wasi wana struggle a lot to make something so chini una do or give up kwanza kitu apeli mazee itabidi tu me push you see right uh, kila siku ukiamka unaamka na new strength na new faith na new belief you know unajua kuna siku moja pia au utakuta utakuwa enjoy struggle yako you know so hiyo ndio ni zambi ya maboys wasi give up kwa game 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 ni big na tunaweza kula si wote you know so uh, ni hivyo tu alafu pale social media FB unaweza nipata atmaster FB unaweza nipata atmaster piece designs mm-hmm. pale IG ni opondo master then namba yangu ya simu pia naweza watia ama waambie <laughs> wape <laughs> eh, namba pale ni 0708 uh-huh. 25 25 36 nazani pigia unazani dm pale whatsapp tabonga yeah. tu mzee ah ni hivyo mm. alafu ah, location ndio hiyo sasa eh location ni tamarin yeah. niko located tamarin ground floor ukifika tu tamarin nipigie ama ulizie pombe hawezi yeah. nipenda ah iko fit so uh, thanks guys for watching i was your host theo till next time So guys that's what we had on Jenga Biz. Now remember each and every Sunday from 2 p.m. to Kimalza show I'll be having that show for you. So remember to stay tuned, stay locked and tell a friend to tell a friend that this is the place to be. Next week tutajua biashara nani tunafanya. So guys uh, that has been Jenga Biz from Theo na imekuwa segment moja kali and before tumalize show manze great appreciations manze kwa our sponsors that is Itel Mobile Limited manze wana sponsor show yetu vikubwa sana uh, pia our sponsor wenye ameza to lend space that is Crystal Image Studios hapa Eldoret manze place poa sana unapiga mapicha tunakufanyia coverage za events everything you know just come to crystal images studios uh, pia tukimaliza our social media platforms manze to follow us and to keep in touch with us is etown diaries ke kila mahali facebook ig na pia pale kwenye youtube eh, zangu ni john bet kila mahali as you know theo i go by theo kenya on all social media social media platforms alamu domo inakataa Uh-huh. <laughs> and Theo 750 yeah. on Instagram kabisa so guys i remember to follow Theo pia pale kwenye social media platforms zake and remember to keep it it on there is each and every time manze peace Talk to me.